Good afternoon, YouTube. How do we do today? Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Coffee with the Masons. Today, I'm going to show you how to, one, remove a bush hog from a Branson 2505H, and then number two, well, maybe another video, actually, but I'm going to uh, attach my uh, backhoe attachment to it. So, stick around. It's going to be a fun video. So, what are you doing? Okay, so what I'm doing here is... uh. My three-point attachment, I'm loosening it up so that when I go to take these off, it won't be as tough. Okay. So I can go ahead and pull this one out because it's ready. And then I'll also take it loose from the tractor. Okay, you're in my way. Can you see it now? I think so. So there we have step pins. So uh, even though I love tractor supply, I don't want to have to replace them. So what I do is when I take them out, I go ahead and make sure everything's pinned. And I stick it in my garage. So the next step is to uh, remove the PTO from the tractor. Tractor is turned off and the emergency brake is set. So the engine's not going to run on me. But uh, it's a little tight, so she may be able to get her hands, uh, the camera down there where my hands are. But if not, there's a little pin that you have to push. It's on the uh, drive shaft itself that re releases it from the PTO shaft. So mm -hmm. here we go. Where's the pin? I'll show you. See, here's the pin here. But now she's loose, and we can move on to the next. Actually, I may not be able to loosen them up too much. The reason you want to get them as loose as you can is so when you come here, you pull this pin, you want to be able to slide this right off pretty easy. Okay. And once again, I like to keep my pins. Accounted for. Okay. Now I move to the other side. Other side, remove the pin. Is she giving you grief? It'll be all right. And. Oh. All right, so now I got to pull the tractor forward and put the trailer hitch back in. Well, the, I say the trailer hitch, that's what it is to me. So that uh, when I lower down my three-point attachments, I can lock them in and they won't move once I get the backhoe hooked. Now, when you start the tractor, always remember, it is a diesel. And they are glow plugs. So always turn the key backwards. Let your glow plugs heat up. No matter how often you run the engine, whether you just shut it off or not, I like to let my glow plugs warm up every time I start it just so... It doesn't give me any grief when I start it. I got your glow plug. Oh, yeah? Glow plug. Do I want to see it? No. Okay. And watch this. Every time. Okay, the next step, I'm going to remove my arms. So it's very simple. I've got one pin down here you pull. Take off the washer, lift it up a little bit, push it. Drop it to the ground. I like to keep my pins and my washers. Make sure you put the pin back in. You come up here, pull the pin, slide it, put the pin back in. Okay. Okay, so I got both arms off, and you can see by looking at it, my uh, three point attachments, they're sitting on the ground. I'm about to take care of that with a trailer hitch and two bolts. Okay. So, what you do is Take it, you slide it in. Always go to the second hole because you're gonna be using these holes here and you want it to line up right. And let me come up here to my compartment.
my pin. Okay, so get your pin, you lock it in, go underneath, and pin it. Then you've got your nuts and bolts. Make sure you keep your hydraulic hoses on top because you're going to need them for the back of attachment. So what's this, what's this part called? It's my trailer hitch. Trailer hitch. Yeah. Okay. So you took off the arms and put on the trailer hitch. And all the, the hitch does... It just keeps these from moving okay. once you get it locked in. And then once I get back on and, and turn my tractor on, I'll raise these all the way up because the uh, backhoe attachment is going to sit right here and right here. And right where? Down here is where it's going to go in, but the pins will be right here. Okay. All yeah. right. And we're done. What I use to tighten them up is just a pair of channel locks on the nut. That got left out in the rain. This one's for the grill. Yeah. Put it on the nut, and this is a 24 millimeter socket. It doesn't have to be really torqued down because it's not holding anything vital. I'm going to stop. Now. 